I'm so excited that you want to up your live streaming game by using a third party software. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all about StreamYard. Hey, morning business owners, and welcome to my channel where I help your message get seen in that cluttered newsfeed. If you are looking to crush it with social media and online marketing, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos from this channel. They're gonna help you with your social media and online marketing goals. Now, I absolutely adore live streaming, as you probably know, and I have used a lot of different third-party softwares to make my live show that much more professional. My live show goes up live every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Pacific, and I really wanted to add a lot more graphics and have a little bit more of a user-friendly experience. So that is why I started using StreamYard to do the live streams for my live show. So I wanna head over to StreamYard so I can show you how the interface works and how easy it is to create a show that is so beautiful and so professional that you're gonna be like, well, this is all I need in my life, okay? But before I do that, I want you to go grab my freebie that I have for you down in the description that's going to be a checklist that's going to make your live streaming life so much easier because it's going to give you every single thing that you need to do every single time that you go live so that you can crush that live stream and accomplish all the things that you want to do. Did you go get it? Cool, all right, let's go over to StreamYard. This is StreamYard. Now to log into StreamYard for the first time, you are going to have to link it with your Facebook account. They're gonna send you an email with a verification code. Then once you're in here, all you have to do is add what's called the destination. So StreamYard is great for streaming to basically anywhere where you can live stream, whether it's Facebook, um, LinkedIn, Restream, YouTube, all of these great things. So you can pick which one of these you're, are you wanna use. Now, the main two are Facebook and YouTube. If you understand RTMP servers or if you wanna check out Stream, this is a more advanced sort of tool. So I would, so for the intensive purposes of getting started with StreamYard, I'm gonna show you with Facebook. Now, with Facebook, you can use your profile, your business page, or if you have a group. Now, I've already synced up my Facebook business page, but I'm going to set this up for a show I have coming up. So I'm gonna create my broadcast. Okay, I definitely want it to be public. And I'm going to add my message in as well. Okay, so. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm going to add in my extra messaging that I have. You're gonna schedule this for later if that's what you wanna do. You can go live right now, right away, or if you are gonna do it um, at a different time, you can do that here. I'm gonna upload my image that I've created for the show, okay? I'm gonna line up, make sure that it looks good. So once I have all of my stuff pasted in from my show outline that I've created, this is what you do. So make it public, you have your Facebook post, scheduling, add your image, and then of course just hit schedule your broadcast. It's pretty simple. Um, I really like it and it's also very quick. So then in my interface, you can enter your broadcast studio. Okay, you're gonna set up your camera and um, make sure you have your display name. In. You have to have your display name here in order for it to work. Um, you can go into settings. This is where you're gonna pick your camera, the streaming quality, your mic, all of that stuff. And then you're just gonna hit, hit done once you have it selected. And then you all will be over in here. So to add myself to my stream, I'm going to go here. I'm going to turn off the, there we go. Hi. <laughs> um, we'll go over all of these features. So this is how you add yourself to your stream, right? You start off with your comments. So when you have comments come into your feed, they will show up here. Um, banners, if you had to put in your banners for what you have going on. But this is the part that I like the most. So this is where we have all of our branding. You can have your themes for your down thing, but we're not really gonna be using themes. We're gonna be focusing on other things. You can have, again, your watermark. You wanna have it as a perfect square, 150 pixels by 150 pixels. And if you want to have the clear background, you wanna make sure that you have it set to a PNG with no background, okay? Now, all of these graphics I'm about to show you, they call overlays in StreamYard. And in order for them to work, you have to have them as a PNG file. So let me show you. So I have overlays on my show that allow for my show to look more like a news show or a highly produced show versus something that's more simple. Now, I feel that StreamYard is great for starting out and for advanced live streaming because of this this feature right here with these overlays because you can do so much with them. I use them for my show all the time. I have these at different points. 
Um, I add in graphics for my guests. I have this for when we are side by side since I don't have another person on this demo. You can't see, but it does divide it in two and then you can kind of see the background as well. Now, if I take myself off of the stream, you can see my backgrounds um, that I use and you can have them off. You can turn off your thing. In order for you not to have the StreamYard logo, you have to have a paid account, which I do have. But pretty much everything that you can use with StreamYard for free, and there are very few limitations. One of the things I really like is being able to add video to my overlay, which you can't do in a lot of other softwares and let that, without it being really complicated. So let's, let me show you. So this is the intro that I use for my YouTube channel, which I think is just fine for what you're doing. I've created these usually for the other live shows that I have. It's just loading in for one sec. So let me show you what this video looks like in here. So you can add in videos. Now, as you saw, I automatically mutes my mic, but you can unmute yourself if you wanna talk over something. So you don't have to have the audio for the video playing. You can just be working through something on there. So I love that feature um, in, in here. So you can show your display names or turn them off. If you're going to go the overlay route, you really don't need to have the display names. Um, for other things, you can invite people by hitting the invite key down here. It gives you the link so that they can join the stream. You also can screen share. Now, you can only screen share one thing at a time. So this is one of the things that is different than BeLive, um, but it, uh, you can hop back and forth with whatever you're trying to do. And again, if you have overlays, you can just be creating overlay images and stuff to add on to the graphic. The last thing I'm going to show you is where the private chat is so that you can message with people who are in the stream as well. So that is a crash course in using StreamYard to go live. So what did you love most about StreamYard? Please let me know down in the comment section down below. If you want to know more about other third-party softwares that you can use to go live on, you want to check this video out right here. And hey, if you want to know about why your business needs a live show, you're going to watch this video right here because I'm going to break that down for you and you're going to be like, why haven't I done this yet? So until then, like we always say in military life, is never goodbye to see you soon. So until next time, I will see you soon.